Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me. Eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. It is said that time is money. Time is not likened to money, but time is equated with money, because time is not like money. But time and money have an equal importance in the survival and success of those living under the sun. One might live a very long life, 80, 90, even 100 years, but as soon as they die, they will be quickly forgotten because they would have left nothing monumental and nothing worth remembering. But there are those who have lived not so long, but their names will be forever remembered. And one of those people are Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He lived for only 33 and a half years. But right now, more than 2,000 years after he died, everyone who's alive, whether Christian or not, whether they believe in him or not, know of him. Because his time on this earth was well spent. He came with a purpose and fulfilled that purpose. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. So everyone living under the sun is governed by time. And everyone who is governed by time must live a purposeful life. Because a short life lived with purpose is of far greater importance than a long aimless life. One might have a lot of money in life, might make a lot of money in life, but to people's surprise, they would die a poor man. While someone making a little would die with a fortune. The difference is in the investment of time and money. If you invest your time and money in things of less or no value, you will definitely die a poor man. But if you invest the little that you have in things of greater value, you will die a successful person. So today I'm not going to necessarily talk about spending money on that which is not bread. But I'm going to talk about spending time on that which is not bread. Time and money are two sides of the same coin called your life. What you spend it on determines your success in this life and the one to come. So make the most of the time that you have on your hands. Spend it on things that put food on your table and things that will guarantee you a solid future. But at the same time, please do not forget to invest it in things of eternal value because time well spent is an investment that will guarantee you a place at the right hand of God, an investment that will guarantee you eternal life. So spend your time on the bread of life. What is the bread of life? When Jesus Christ was being tempted by the devil to turn stones into bread while fasting, he answered and said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. In order for us to live, we need bread. But bread is not enough for a Christian who is looking forward to the second coming of Christ, a Christian who is looking forward to eternal life. We need to live by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Meaning that we need to study the scriptures. Live by them. Do as they say. The word of God is the bread of life. When Christ came, he lived a perfect life. As an example for us to follow. He was crucified on the cross of Calvary and died. But rose on the same on the third day so if we follow if we believe Christ and follow him walk in his footsteps eventually we will die but when the trumpet shall sound when he comes to take his own the dead in Christ shall rise first and those who will be alive 
who meet with him in the crowd in the clouds and live with him forever so why spend your money on that which is not the bread of life why waste your precious time trying to fit in among the lost when you can follow the example of Jesus Christ, who is the word that was there in the beginning, the word that was with God, the word that was God, and the word that became flesh and lived amongst us, the word which sanctifies us, the word that is the truth, the truth that sets us free from the shackles of death. Everyone who is alive is governed by time. The only person who is not affected by time is God because God lives outside the solar system. As long as you live under the sun, you are governed by time. You need to do your things in time. Everyone has 24 hours in a day. Divide that by three, you get eight. A normal person works for eight hours. And health experts say that in order for a person to have a healthy sleep, they need to sleep for eight hours. And you are left with eight hours. What you do with those eight hours determines your success in this life and the one to come. What do you use it on? What do you spend that time on? Social media? Doing what? If Christ is to come today, while you are doing whatever you do in those eight hours, are you sure that you will be guaranteed eternal life? My advice to you is to spend that time on the bread of life. May God bless you. May the peace of God that passeth all understanding be with you. May the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, help you understand what it means to spend your time on the bread of life. So that one day, when the trumpet shall sound, we will meet in heaven, walking on the streets of gold. If you have been blessed by this message, please share with someone who will be also blessed by this message.